Moscow is one of the world's most vibrant capitals, despite an economic slowdown, a devalued ruble, and general stagnation. The lure of money to be made keeps migrants coming. Most come from Central Asia, primarily Uzbekistan. Uzbek laborers tend to have menial jobs as cleaners or in construction, although some work in the arts. Adkem arrived in Moscow two years ago. An artist, he wanted to launch his career, but reality has been difficult, he said. He makes less money here than he did in his homeland, and he finds himself having to work odd jobs in construction, sharing a tiny room with other migrants an hour by train from central Moscow. I dreamed of coming to Moscow to sell my works here, but I did not realize that half of the people in Moscow are painters. I came when the economic crisis was starting. I was out of luck in my country. My daughter died, and against Muslim tradition, she was buried without me being present. I sent whatever money I could, not much. Shak Noza, also from Uzbekistan, is like most migrants in Moscow. She came to work and build her savings. I have no dream in Moscow. It's not my motherland. I came here to earn money. Shak Noza, also from Uzbekistan, is like most migrants in Moscow. She came to work and build her savings. I, for instance, worked in a four-star hotel. At first, everything went well, but then a new manager arrived. She treated me very badly. Her attitude toward me was inhuman. I can't talk about that. It is actually so tough to speak about that. Having a higher education and to listen to such words, well, that is very painful. The migrants hold jobs most Russians do not want. Observers say competition for low-paying jobs drives down wages and makes matters worse. It turns out that an inflow of migration reduces an income of the local residents as well as reduces their options of choosing jobs. And that naturally triggers annoyance among the local residents in the low segments of the market labor. Immigrants from Africa and Latin America generally have different circumstances. They are often young students who come with scholarships. Navigating a difficult bureaucracy, some find ways to stay. For the Nigerian people, the most important thing is education, because we know that the more knowledgeable we are, the better our environment becomes. We Nigerians practically go to every part of the world, including Russia. Whether it be for school or in search of a better life, Russia continues to draw those willing to deal with Russia's bureaucracy, which some say is as harsh as its climate. For Ricardo Marquina in Moscow, Jim Randall, VOA News.